alone. Welcome to part two message unto the, the people of Ukraine whom the whole world is passionately praying for. Though all those of love are on their knees for you, Ukraine, says the Lord. And so let the wise come to understand that Rasputin, Russian's kingdom age prophet, spoke in absolute about Putin as the king of the uh, of the north in Daniel 11, who just has just walked over the king of the south, uh, as it is written there, and to kill many brothers of other mothers. Woe therefore unto Russia, for their leader of Daniel's uh, of the north's prophecy has fully manifested in the foretold in time beast of his prophecy of worldwide World War Three, and by that pride of the lion's dens foretelling the original Daniel the prophet. That disgraced son of Vladimir Putin Sr. and Maria Putina, the disgraced parents, uh, his reputation and name is muddied evermore, and it shall be cast down into the deepest depths of deprivation as his rotting soul descends down from the frozen Nevica to the frigid, comfortable place where that madman can await in hell be besides the river Styx. For that cold-blooded killer of killers Committing unforgivable sin has he, while embracing the darkest and the gloomiest gloom of Tartarus that's fully possessed as a human demon in the flesh. And due to that king's utter foolishness, uh, it'll become, it has been written that Putin shall be causing seven insane nations to arise against the eagle with one head, as seven more smart ones decapitate the phoenix with two heads, like it happened to the three-headed Ghidorah in Godzilla and Russia will not have a chance. But before the final axe of hope falls, the fleeting vanity of vanities will co cause both birds to defend themselves furiously and vi uh, viciously with their talons until the phoenix could never rise again and their wings will try to protect their people until that fang dra dragon is sliced and cut off. Uh, and it's also written in prophecy that the Prince of the South, you, President Zelensky, uh, message right to you. And if anybody uh, gets this message and you have his ear or a way to contact him, tell him this, that prophecy says that you are mounting your horse from the wrong side. I do not know what that means. I wish I did. Uh, the Lord has not opened that up to me as of yet. If I come to understand it, I will make a desperate uh, message. But um, so that is the message from prophecy that you are mounting your horse on the wrong side and you will be encompassed by a wall of enemies. Um, and that hero of bravery's slogan, which is you, President Zelensky, it is foretold that your slogan will be onward with love, hope, and faith. Onward with God would be your message. And for your David versus Goliath fight of fights, the Lord promises he will lead you from victory to victory. And many enemies of Ukraine will meet their death, but there shall be a high cost if you will not simply stand still and see the salvation that love would bring in a different way so that you can return and fight another day. Uh, better armed, better prepared. It's, uh, you need a break from this. Uh, patience, people. Uh, COVID has come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. Sometimes what the Lord wants us to do is opposite of what we normally do. And so know this, that as Russia comes forth as the defeated fiery dragon of Guiana's hottest flames, it'll be flying through the air, dropping fire and sulfur and destroying cities and villages only then shall people turn to love as hate consumes all sensibilities. And this terrible war, according to holy prophecy, will last three and a half years, which is a time, times and a half a time, exactly as Daniel 12, 7 has predicted. And as Putin's most putrid pleasures of wasted li lives consumes his twisted sense of humor, the seas will also be tinged with blood and men will lie and wait under the waves for prey. But let all rats uh, who are, have been chased by that rat, uh, by that cat, 
let let them become mice and turn and eat that cat as Rasputin said and because you all need to come to see all true people of truth of Russia you need to understand that the disgraced KGB man uh, the, the the new Vlad the Impaler he has always had a most deadly wish saith the Lord God to, of uh, Russia Bog he has always wanted to become hell's most evil ferryman of its flaming lake of fire since he only wants to give fools rides as the transporter of the damned could he be unto Hades most hor horrendous and horrible shores of eternal pain and suffering where the flames of sulfur floats within the blackest abyss of love accursed by lack thereof but Putin's graze, uh, gaze of treachery shall have no effect for in hell it is utterly true that his brands of debauchery and madness have long ago been foretold even to show their uh, flash their shadows down there and uh, it has been expected by believers of God's literal word of prophecy so woe unto that Hitler of Hitler's wannabe for it's Putin alone who's facing the eternal dust until it dawns on him that he's nothing more than a wretched soul who must everlastingly be cast away into the gross darkness where the weeping and gnashing of teeth will grind his teeth down to a powder. So you might as well get him yanked. It might be uh, less painful if you get some Novocaine. And due to his politics of utter destruction, the land of the West will sadly also become a vast desolation after his reddest button explodes, and the lands of the ocean will be crushed and suffer all the pains of hunger unless the whole world unites in a great brotherhood of kingdom age love. For that foretold castaway Putin of the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel is the blackest snake of death that darts out his, his lying silvery forked tongue as a viper. Woe unto that destroyer of the earth as he sl slithers into position to release his most toxic secret poisons. Woe to the naive as that reptilian human coils his madness around the love's, uh, love's rejected innocence, constricting it uh, tightly within his coils of lies and propaganda until breaths of peace can't even breathe again. Nor, uh, uh, nor can any escape his spells of evil if he's breathing down their neck. Behold not that snake, therefore, in its hypnotic eyes, no people of love, lest that new Vlad the Impaler mesmerize such foolish gazers, since he is the most toxic snake charmer of all unloving Russians that ever lived. And with greed as his pillow, says the Lord Bog unto Russians, uh, the Lord God Almighty Vladimir has, thus saith the Lord God, he has hidden away billions of dollars unbeknownst uh, to the Russian people, he has been a pickpocket, and uh, he, to, in order to finance his uh, perceived coming out party of utter death and destruction, which he is promising the world. So woe unto that revealed beastly man of sin who loves feasting at sinful tables of power, imagine and lusted for, uh, like he was on all kinds of steroids of and woe unto that disgraced father of the daughters Mar Maria and Yakataterina and the accursed lover Kabavia, who gave him two sons and another daughter. For they shall all evermore be most ashamed of their loveless father, who is clearly heaven's most accursed papa, Vlad, the most accursed killer of killers. For by the spirit of prophecy, the wise shall believe the absolute everlasting gospel truth that as a SNM lover, which he is, uh, Vladimir Putin's love imagine, loves imagining pleasures most forbidden orchards of death's unripened fruit in his garden of doom and the darkest gloom. So thus saith the Lord Baga of Russia unto all people of love. Vladimir is but a snake like of Eden, shedding its outer skin, gaining its strength and power with every act of evil that he has for his 
people to perform. And as a laughing hyena, he is mocking Russians beneath him uh, while laughing as a jackal as he waits for his own grim reaper to arrive finally so that he can pull out his most deadly weapon as it is foretold. And as it is foretold, eyes shall be consumed away in their sockets and tongues shall be consumed away in, in their mouths as it is written in the books of Zechariah and Zephaniah. And all mankind shall be destroyed, and there shall be no bird, no fish, no man, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, as all flesh is consumed away even before corpses even have a chance to fall on the ash-filled ground. So Rasputin, the kingdom age prophet of hope for all the people of the world, he passionately now warns by the Lord's spirit of prophecy, he warns his comrades who are but as other brothers of other mothers. For if they keep ignoring his most accurate prophecy of a terrible stormy fire, it'll consume all life upon earth, exactly as Isaiah 24, Malachi 4, 6, Deuteronomy 18, 18, all predict along with Christ in Matthew 24, 22. After all that foretold thermonuclear explosion during which all life on planet Earth will end up dying as Zephaniah 1 1, that doesn't have rich elite bunkers built uh, for the ultra rich so they only could survive until their power all dies out in seven years. <laughs> and then no life will exist. Life will never exist on planet Earth again, according to all those prophecies. So he wrote uh, Rasputin that uh, the end's predictions by his word of love to all people in order to warn all people, uh, warn them all and warm them up to truth uh, of our fast approaching catastrophe in order to console them so they could be empowered to ascend unto heaven instead of being blasted down to hell. For if these words of Rasputin's prophecy are not passed out unto all nations obediently, by love's most obedient spirit of hope, then Rasputin guaranteed, thus saith God through Rasputin, it shall come to pass that multitudes would be dying as accursed Russian soldiers walk in knee-deep blood, for there won't be anyone to bury the stinking corpses, so they'll just be dumping them down huge pits of no return in order to bury all hope that's come from the satanic arising of that annihilator of dreams, Vladimir. The death angel and he is the KGB asshole the putrid putrid uh, and that shall go on his as an epitaph for that monster of monsters for by the tr spirit of truth alone says the Lord uh, it is he alone who plans on taking the whole world to the edge of our total oblivion and he is a possessed man and for that cause Rasputin uh, needs an exorcism so Pope Francis, you better start praying because it is prophesied that the four sisters uh, after Tur uh, Italy gets a big boot, uh, that the four sisters of the Ukraine, Belarus, Greece, and Russia would in the latter days, uh, Rasputin said, be dressed in beautiful silk that would immediately be changed into the filthiest of rags. And he said that if mankind doesn't hear Christ's word here and that cuts time short, uh, then all four dying sisters would have their eyes gouged out uh, and their nails pulled out after ears or finally sliced right off their heads. Then their beauty would turn into a ball of fire to incinerate their chances of ever being able to prosper again. So Rasputin insisted that mankind must pay close attention to the Lord's great seed of time that's found in prophecy alone. Otherwise, all not looking towards the Canadian North, a star shall all die terrible deaths. That is the, the, the maple leaf. And I am the messenger of the North unto the North of Russia and unto Israel and unto the world. For the Lord God says, I am the Lord God of all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27. So it's time that Putin, you need to see that for all the blood you have spilled, your blood will be spilled. For all the pain that you have brought, you will receive pain. Turn around. You still have, by my estimation, I think two or three more days. Uh, I think it was probably seven days ago the Lord showed me. Uh, if you don't turn around in the next ten days, you'll go down that slippery slope as a desensitized frog. You know, you turn up the 
heat just right and the poor frog he becomes a cook uh, uh, goose dead duck pretty good frog and some birdie and that's what will happen to you by you committing unforgivable sin you still have a couple days if you will repent whether you hear this message or not and know that life shall only come from the Lord's brightest star of stars, our, our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, our brightest star of Bethlehem, who is now arising as the sun of love and hope and peace at the beginning of World War III, so that all nations can be healed as they embrace abundant life and healing for all those willing to mount up on the whitest wings of his most regal eagle of the eons, who is his fluttering uh, dove of love, who brings forth the flying scroll of Zechariah 5, of which I am the writer, the writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14, declares Elijah who I am. But I am not the Elijah returning of the two witnesses. I am the alcoholic Elijah of uh, Habakkuk 2, one transgressed by one whose soul is not upright. And the just better damn well live by my faith and by Rasputin's faith, even though our souls have not been upright, because the just shall, according to that word of love. And I am the latter-day Daniel, who is Shiloh, the alcoholic who has eyes red and dull of wine, Genesis 49, 12. And I am the alcoholic of uh, Zechariah 3, who writes the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. The strong and mighty end time writer, uh, line by line, precept by precept, who would come forth with stammering lips, which means shocking so much I keep trying to spit off my teeth. I might break my little camera if I do that. But I'm going to try to shock some people because people are dense and they don't want to listen to common sense. So it's time that we all get along in the sandbox and it's time that um, all people of the world take off your hats for Belarus, uh, not Belarus, for the, the meeting at Belarus today um, at the border. Uh, and uh, that is a, a big, big of you, President Zelensky, too. Even after you uh, said, nope, not Belar Belarus, uh, that you agreed to at least meet at the border. And uh, uh, cooperation with a madman is advisable. And uh, know that the Lord God is with you just as he was with David and Goliath, and you shall prevail. But uh, within a time, times and a half a time, no one shall prevail. This earth is days just as Noah's exactly. And I am another Noah as the Latter-day Daniel. I have been working tirelessly for 20 years writing scripture that no one ever wanted to hear, just as uh, Noah spent many years right, uh, building an ark that nobody wanted to ride in. And if you guys don't want to ride during this one, you guys are flipping on the side of uh, that, that insane Putin, Putin putrid.